This afternoon, leaders from all over the Wabash Valley came together in an effort to keep and attract talent and employees for the region's workforce. Lily Pezzavento attended this meeting and uh, explains how this plan is in the works and what what is it all about, Lily? Well, Mike, officials in the Wabash Valley are working to become a 21st century talent region. By earning this distinction, officials believe our region will become a hub for economic, educational, and talent growth. Jack Hess, executive director of Civic Lab, travels all over Indiana helping regions develop local talent. Talent marches with its feet, so how do we make this place attractive to those individuals? Development is all about educational attainment, you know, raising the actual education levels that they have so they're better really prepared for the unique jobs and opportunities here but in the region. Last year, the Wabash Valley was recommended for the 21st century talent distinction, a stamp of approval that officials believe will grow the community from the inside out and attract others to join. If we complete the application, then we will be recognized as a talent region. So we are, you know, we just have to come up with a strategic plan and begin to operate that. Officials drew up lists of stakeholders in the area, such as schools, hospitals, and manufacturing corporations. It has such a rich history, it's particularly in manufacturing. Uh, we also know in hospitality and tourism, but they have some of the state's probably best educational assets. And they're net exporter. By focusing energy on the highest ranking talent regions, officials hope to raise the standard of living in the Wabash Valley. I really believe we have a lot of positive momentum going on, and what this allows us to do is recognize it and pull it together. Now, in order to apply to become a 21st century talent region, each region needs to come together with at least three cities or townships. In these groups, there must be an official from a school corporation, local government, a nonprofit, a workforce development, business, and higher education. Mike. All right. Thank you, Lily. Among the counties present at this meeting were officials from Putnam, Vigo, Park, Clay, and Sullivan.